A sixth day on the hot seat for Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes, she withstood a tough cross-examination today after admitting her company's devices were never used by the military in war zones. KPX 5's Len Ramirez is following her criminal fraud trial in San Jose, and Len, you have more on her testimony. That's right. It was a tougher day on the witness stand for Elizabeth Holmes when prosecutors pressed her on several key points in her testimony that differ significantly from the testimony of several other witnesses that have come before this jury. Government prosecutor Robert Leach zeroed in on Holmes' statements to investors and the media about Theranos blood analyzers being used by the military. Theranos devices were never used for clinical care for soldiers, correct, Leach asked? Correct, Holmes said. Leach then named off five previous witnesses who testified Holmes told them or led them to believe that the devices were being used by the military in medevac units or war zones. Leach asked Holmes if that's what she told them. I don't think so, Holmes replied. I think it's very significant. Significant. It's very damaging because Michelle Hagan is a former prosecutor and legal analyst who's following the trial. Well, it goes to her credibility, impeaches her credibility, and it makes her look like she's intending to deceive people. And that's exactly what the prosecution is alleging. In another exchange, Leach asked Holmes about the glowing 2014 Fortune magazine cover story for which Holmes gave exclusive access and interviews to Roger Parloff, an earlier witness for the prosecution. The article stated that Theranos did not run on tests on any other company's blood analyzers in its labs. Holmes admitted that was not true. Leach then pressed her on how she shared the article with investors without corrections when her company needed money. Holmes told the jury, quote, I think I could have handled those communications differently. They're getting to see who she is. They're getting to see uh, how she answers these questions. And again, it's putting Elizabeth Holmes in the corner. It's her testimony. Again, it's her representation she's making to the jury versus the 29 witnesses that came in on behalf of the prosecution. Len, now that the prosecution wrapped up its cross-examination of Holmes, will the defense call any other witnesses? Well, Amanda, even at this late stage, that remains up in the air. When the uh, trial closed just a few minutes ago, the defense attorney said that he wanted to review the transcript before deciding whether or not to call another witness. There was widespread speculation that a psychologist would be called next by the uh, defense uh, to talk about the uh, relationship between uh, Elizabeth Holmes and Sonny Balwani that uh, Holmes says turned violent. Balwani denies that, uh, but we don't know if that's going to happen now because of what the defense just said tonight. Len, this trial continues. Thank you.